Hey guys, just want to give you a warning. What I'm about to talk about is very disturbing and I might have to get a little too graphic for uh, my own liking. Um, but I feel it's something as Christians we need to be aware of. Now I know I have a lot of viewers that get upset when uh, I do political videos. In fact, uh, on average when I do a political video I lose four subscribers is the average. Uh, so I don't do these videos for views. I do them because I think it's important as Christians to engage in our culture and to be aware, you know. My people perish because of lack of knowledge, the Bible says. So I'm just sharing knowledge and, uh, you know, pray and ask God what he wants you to do with your knowledge. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, but I really don't think this is, in my view, I don't consider this a political video i think it's more of a cultural video um if there were republicans supporting pedophilia i would call them out by names by name as well so most of you've probably heard about the cuties controversy netflix uh just produced a movie uh, exploiting 11 year old girls uh, in fact over uh, now it may be more but the last i looked over six hundred thousand net Netflix subscribers have canceled Netflix over this uh, obvious uh, exploitation of little girls. What you may not know is former President Obama and his wife Michelle, along with their national security advisor Susan Rice, shortly after they left the White House, got huge contracts with Netflix. They're on the board of Netflix, and they make a lot. They make programming decisions. That's their job. In fact, President Obama and Michelle's reported contract is worth over $50 million. So this cuties would not have been produced without their okay. They could have stopped it in its tracks. So that's why I'm saying the Obamas are supporting pedophilia. And um, not all Democrats are supporting this. Tulsi Gabbard, uh, who was running uh, for the nomination this time around against uh, Biden. In fact, if I was a Democrat, she'd probably be the girl I would have voted for. Uh, very honest, a war veteran. Uh, although I disagree with her liberal views, I think she had more character than anybody up there on the stage, and she called them out on a lot of issues, especially on war issues, war and peace. But here, this was her tweet uh, from Friday. Child porn, so Tulsi Gabbard, Democrat Congresswoman, is calling this child porn. And a lot of psychiatrists I've seen on the news are calling it child porn too, okay? Child porn cuties will certainly whet the appetite of pedophiles and help fuel the child sex trafficking trade. One in four victims of trafficking are children. It happened to my friend's 13-year-old daughter, Netflix, you are now complicit. Hashtag cancel Netflix. That's Democrat Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. So this is not a political video. This is a cultural video. And I, I've seen a little bit of it on TV. And then I had other people actually watch it, explain it to me. And there's no way I would even watch it to, to see it. But basically... You see these girls twerking on TV, you know, when they show the little advertisement, which in itself, I don't think any parent would allow their 11-year-old girl to twerk and to hump the floor. That's, you know, like I said, it's going to be graphic. I apologize. But in the actual movie, these 11-year-old girls, these Hollywood producers have these 11-year-old girls simulating masturbation. This is so disgusting and so, so horrible that as Christians, we need to speak up. We need to engage the culture. Maybe pray about it if you want to cancel Netflix. That would be one thing. But more importantly, we got to vote. We got to vote because this transformation of America, and when President Obama was elected, he said he wanted to transform America. And he started it as president, 
and now on Netflix, he's continuing it. So what is this transformation? Well, in California, just this past week, the state assembly voted like 40 to 21, 40 Democrats voted in favor, 21 Democrats voted against it, and then 22 other people, Democrats and Republicans, were, didn't have the guts to even vote. Uh, voted for a law uh, that protected MAPS. If you don't know what MAPS are, it's the new acronym liberals want to add to LGBTQ. They're going to add MAP, and that stands for Minor Attracted Persons. People that are attracted to minors, pedophiles. Minor Attractive Person is the new acronym amongst liberals that they're pushing. And right after that, the state Senate approved it, and then our Democrat governor approved it. So in the Democrat-run state of California, they now have a law protecting MAPS. And of course, they're not going to say it like I'm saying it. So I will give you their argument, their best argument that they put forward why they approve this law. So Gavin Newsom uh, said this, said in the state of California, if an adult has sex with a minor, if it's, and, and again, I, Forgive me for using these graphic uh, terms, but this is, this is what he said. If an 18-year-old adult has sex with a 17-year-old and the sex is vaginal, then he's not automatically registered as a sex offender. But if it's anal, he's automatically registered as a sex offender. So this is discriminating against gay men. Now, if he were being honest, then he would just change the law to make them both a crime, whether anal or vaginal. It would have been a simple fix, yeah. Either one's a crime, either one you're registered as a sex offender. But no, he changed it to if you're as young as 14 and you have sex with someone 10 years older than you or less, once it's 11 years, it would be more. So if a 24-year-old person had sex with an 11-year-old person, that would be considered consensual and the judge would have the right not to register him as a sex offender. And if you think this is fringe, it's just, you know, liberal communist California doing this, um, you're wrong. The Democrats have been trying to pass this since the 80s. I remember James Dobson talking about this in the 80s uh, where he was fighting a group called NAMBLA, MAMBLA, Man Boy Love Association. And the Man Boy Love Association, with support of many Democrats at the time, was trying to get legislation passed to get the age of consent to eight. And they, they walked around Washington with signs, and this is so disgusting, but I got to tell you, they walked around with signs saying eight is too late. Many of them want it younger. They want it no age of consent. So the leftists who are running the Democrat Party in our country are trying to transform, they're trying to destroy the family because once they destroy the family, then the government can take control. And that's their ultimate end, is to have government controlled over every, government control over our families, over everything. Because they think the government knows best. And in all these government controlled countries, the first thing they eliminate is freedom of religion, then freedom of speech, then the right to bear arms. So they have total control. So, Pray about this, what God wants you to do, whether to cancel Netflix, whether to white your congressman. Uh, if you're in California, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That state is a mess. That, this, Democrats have run that state into the ground. That's, it's, it looks like a third world country out there now. Uh, so I don't even know what to tell you. I'd say get out. <laughs> I'd say get out. Move to Texas or Florida. But anyway, um, pray for our culture. Uh, Pray for our children. The attack, the devil is attacking the family and he's coming after our kids. So, sorry this wasn't one of my more upbeat videos, but I felt I had to share this. God bless. Stay Catholic.